Welcome to Dungeon Craft. Today I'm going to show you how to make this staircase for just a dollar. Welcome to Dungeon Craft. I'm your host, Professor Dungeon Master, coming to you from Dungeon University wearing my plus one tweed jacket of insight. If you're already familiar with my show, you already know how to craft dungeon rooms and hallways. But you may ask, Professor Dungeon Master, how are my players supposed to get into the dungeon? The answer, this staircase. This is a great project for new crafters because you don't need many materials and it takes less than two hours to do. And it only costs 99 cents. All you need is one piece of foam, a glue gun, an X-Acto knife, a soldering tool, and some gray paint. So let's go to the workshop and I'll show you how to make it. So here is our material. It's a foam sheet. I got this at the hobby store for 99 cents. Looks like this on the side. It's a foam rubber sheet. So any Hobby Lobby or Michaels or craft store is going to have it. And we're going to cut it up into strips that are 3 centimeters wide. Why 3 centimeters? Because that's going to fit a large character stand. When cutting with an X-Acto knife, always use a metal ruler. This way you won't slip and hurt your hands. Just two or three passes will give you a perfectly clean cut. On the strip, I've measured out 10 centimeters. That's going to be the bottom base level of the steps. So once again, 10 centimeters. Then the next is 9 centimeters. And the next is 8. The next will be 7. Once you have all your levels, stack them up. Stack them so they're flush and make sure that they're in the right order, like that. Then lay them out like this, from the bottom to the top. This is so you don't get confused and glue the wrong step to the wrong level. Next we're going to use our hot glue gun on the lowest two steps. Take the second step from the bottom. Start here at the corner. You're going to have to work fast. Make sure there's some glue at the front to hold that down. And a little in the middle. Then quickly press it like that. Make sure it's flush at the back as well as the side. You'll only have a few seconds. Press it together. The hot glue will quickly fuse those pieces together. And you're going to take the extra glue strings off while they're not hot but cooling. We put a little bit too much. That's a little bit too much glue there. So we'll use less on the next level. Next level, we won't go quite to the edge. Again, you have a few seconds to move this glue around. Make sure it's flush on the side as well as the front. Press that down into place. And we repeat with the next level. Now, our last level was seven centimeters long. So the next one should be six, but it's not. We're going to skip six and we're going to go right to five, then four, then three, which will be three and three. That'll be a perfect square. Let's stack these up. I'll show you why. When they're glued, that missing step will create a landing and you can put a figure on it, enabling you to have two figures on the stairs, one here and one here. At this point, you could paint these steps, but the edges on the steps are a little sharp. So what I like to do is bevel them. The way I do this is I take this soldering tool and I run it along the edge and it melt the edge, just rounding it slightly. I don't know if you can see it, but I can use this soldering tool too to put cracks in the pavement and, and pits and parts where the steps are a little broken just by touching it make those steps really look worn. The last thing I'm doing is with the tip just putting pock marks in at random spots and I, I've discovered the more I actually take away from those steps the better looking they get. Just be very careful because this is extremely hot. Now for the painting. Here's my color palette. I have dark gray and regular gray. For a palette I just use a small paper plate that I can just throw away. And water, I don't have my water dropper, so you take a soda bottle cap. I will use my number two filbert brush and I will start painting stones. Each of these levels, that's going to be the mortar line between these stones. And uh, some we can make smaller and some we can make larger, more square, more round. We're going to vary the pattern.
and I did the same to the other side. Next, I'm going to take that light gray and I'm going to do the bricks in the front. I'm going to stagger them so the mortar lines don't meet. Now we're going to try a really crazy experiment. I've taken a whole bunch of water from that bottle cap and I've added it to my black gray mixture of paint. And now it is a wash. It's very thin, it's very watery. Let's put this, gotta add more gray to that. Let's get that gray in there. And I'm gonna wash this and tone it down. We're blending it now. This foam has a, a unique quality. Paint really blends into it. And so now the mortar lines are becoming less distinct. It's getting kind of a, a hazy kind of quality. On the other side now, I'm just wetting my brush. It's all becoming less distinct, but there's still a pattern. I painted the top a combination of dark gray and black, very watered down. Our last step is our dry brushing. We take a, an old dry brush and we put it in the darkest paint. We wipe that paint off there on a paper towel and we go down the stairs like that. Then we're going to move to a lighter paint. Then we're going to do the same thing, brushing it lightly over the surface. And what will happen is it will gradually lighten up. We'll move to a gray-white mixture. This dry brushing technique will really show those pock marks that we made before, gouges that we made. And then eventually, we're just going to end it white itself. Just going to hit the edges of those steps where the light would hit it. And you'll really be able to see that. Now, our stone staircase is done. These stairs can support two figures at a time. And this is what we produce in just two hours. And it looks as good as any of the professional terrain that I've bought. And it weighs about the same as that six-sided die. It's foam, so it's, it's made of nothing. It's not covered with glue. This is, this, that's just it. It's foam with a little paint on it. And those are our awesome stone steps. If you found this video helpful, click the like button. If you want more Dungeon Craft videos, subscribe. This is Professor Dungeon Master for Dungeon Craft. I'll see you at the table. And may all your future roles be natural 20s.